Fats Domino was one of the most popular and influential rock and roll performers of the 1950s and 60s. Antoine Domino Jr. was born in 1928 in New Orleans, Louisiana, as the youngest of eight children. The Dominoes were a musical family, and Antoine learned to play the piano at the age of 10. He was performing in bars at the age of 14. A chance meeting with a band leader earned him a playing gig and a nickname Fats. The name stuck and his career took off. Domino's first hit song was The Fat Man, released in 1949. Many consider this to be the first song of rock and roll. Shame, released in 1955, crossed Domino over into mainstream pop. The following year, his most popular song, Blueberry Hill, skyrocketed up the charts, staying at number one on the U.S. Billboard Rhythm and Blues charts for 11 weeks. The song would later enter the Grammy Hall of Fame and be recorded by Elvis Presley, Little Richard, and Led Zeppelin. He had 35 top 40 singles between 1955 and 1963, including Whole Lotta Loving, I Want to Walk You Home, Walk Into New Orleans, and Be My Guest. Domino said of his new fame, what they call rock and roll now is rhythm and blues. I've been playing it for 15 years in New Orleans. When his label Imperial Records was sold in 1963, Domino left too. He signed with ABC Paramount Records, recording a few more songs. While the British invasion of the Beatles in 1964 shifted the sound of rock and roll, Fats Domino stuck to his roots and continued to play in New Orleans. After the Beatles broke up and started playing on their own, both John Lennon and Paul McCartney covered songs by Fats Domino, signifying how much the musical icon had influenced their own music.
In later years, Domino could be spotted in his pink Cadillac in the lower ninth ward. He was one of the first musicians to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and won a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. When Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans in 2005, Fat Domino lost everything. President George W. Bush replaced the National Medal of Arts Award that President Clinton had previously awarded him. There's a great story about Elvis Presley after a reporter referred to him as the king. Presley gestured toward Domino who was at his show and said, no, that's the real king of rock and roll right there. Thanks for watching Jukebox Jams. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and click to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next video about musical legends.